Come with me and you'll be in a world with pure imagination. Prince is okay here. See, just came back from the whole food store. Yeah, if you let them, they take you for an idiot when they have nothing in their brains. My point exactly. They take you for some asshole, either way. Nothing new with that. I notice everything and I do not overlook anything. And I'm having a huge appreciation for everything that's nice and good. So when the author of these very, uh, maybe the most famous statue in Hunavaka, La Paloma, was in a party and he had charisma. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I, I think it was like a gay dude in his 40s who looked more like an accountant. And he shared his experience with Maria Felix, who was like the Marilyn Monroe of Mexico. That's a better way of saying. They're really under from Italy, but that's old. He shared his experience with Maria Felix in Paris. I thought, so innocent, yeah, ungodable. What a cool thing that he actually shares this experience with us. He was funny in a way. He also seemed like intellectually a tiny bit superior than the masses around him. And his sense of humor seemed a little bit strange for them, but not for me. So I kind of sort of backed him up there. I don't know exactly how. He spoke different languages. I just he threw a few phrases in. But I never admired him like, oh my God, you know Maria Felix, oh my God. I don't pull this out. I didn't know Maria Felix didn't even exist, or then I was I. It didn't matter for the story. Because I would have backed up with anything. It was funny. Finally, someone funny. A little bit. Tiny bit. I mean, among the stupid. Okay, so he was probably handsome. Let's, let's put things into perspective of the general audience. Handsome. Yeah, gray hair, but handsome. He had a suit on, nicely dressed. That's Kronavaka. I think it was blue. And yeah, well shaved. And... He respected her, so he wasn't a macho person. He respected Maria Felix, like he was this, like, like a presidential advisor or something. Yeah, le dieu sur le And feminists, I mean, every woman who eventually thought, like from the 50s and early 60s, that talking her mind would be a good thing and acceptable and respectable, any woman like that, is a feminist. Because you affirm the rights of the woman. One must not wear a pink or purple t-shirt to become a feminist. Hello? Hello? Hello, anybody? I had a lot of things to do today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. It was a very good nap. That email? I took a nap. Zoom call? I took a nap. What about your lunch plan? Depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am, don't even know where I am, don't even know where I am, don't even know where I am. Cold cream soup, taste is cocoa, roco. Won't be your wife, but she is. Mmm, mmm, mmm.